Hello and welcome into this week's RNN Diecast review right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's Diecast review, you've seen the title, you know what this is. It's the Kyle Busch 2019 Champion. Toyota, so we'll take a look at the box here. Nothing out of the ordinary, your typical elite box as we have become accustomed to, and as we've also become accustomed to, the screws are rolling around inside. They made 922 of these in the elite, which actually is pretty high for an elite. That's uh, that's like Haley Deegan and Chase Elliott numbers, which is kind of surprising for a champion car. I don't think they normally make as that many of these. What comes in the box? Your generic Elite COA, as well as the Season Stat card. Kyle Busch 2019 Season Stats, 36 starts, 5 wins, 1 pole, and an average finish of 8.9 propelled him to the 2019 Championship. On the back, Bush clinches 2019 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series title. You can pause to read that if you want to. All right, on to the car. Uh, more or less, it is the typical uh, yellow m and M scheme. I say typical, but he doesn't run this scheme very much anymore. He might have run it five times in 2019. I don't even know if he ran it that many times. Take a look under the hood here, though. Uh, it kind of opens. It opens more than the, the Chevys do. I'll give it that much. Mobile One Toyota under the hood. Take a look at the engine detail, if we can get any kind of light in there. On the nose, Toyota Camry number 18, Joe Gibbs racing in some contingency sponsors. Again, this is not a race version, so obviously there's not going to be any race markings here. No rubber buildup or anything like that. M&M's on the hood, Monster Energy, and Toyota across the green playoff banner on the roof instead of the number. It is the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series logo and champion two times because this is Kyle's second cup championship. Roof flaps do, well, one of them functions. Can't get that one to come out. Okay, one of them functions. Kyle Busch on the back window. Den number 810. M&M's on the deck lid. The green playoff spoiler. Take a look at the fuel cell detail. If we can get some light in there. Down the driver's side, some contingency sponsors. Monster Energy Champion two times. Number one, I'm assuming for the one that was left, the champion. Because uh, you can't put like championship four or anything right there. Because this is after that. Uh, cloth window net, as usual, Kyle Busch on the name rail, as well as five winner stickers. Sponsors down the B post, M&M's, and a bunch of sponsors in front of the rear wheel. Stanley on the C post, Ream and the red M&M on the quarter panel, as well as the American ethanol ring. On the back bumper, M&M's, Toyota Camry, XSE, and number 18. And down the passenger side, same as the driver's side, other than having the yellow M&M on the side. Overall, though, good-looking car. Um, I mean, it, it essentially, it is the 2019 M&M scheme. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it other than the, the playoff markings, the splitter, and the uh, spoiler, as well as the champion logo on the roof. Uh, so if you are a Kyle Busch fan, if you're a collector of the champion die cast, this is definitely one to pick up. There are a lot of them out there, obviously, since they made, uh, I don't remember what the number was, it was 922. I still think that's a lot of those, but because it doesn't seem like the champion cars are all that popular. I see a lot of people complaining about these and rather having raced versions, which I mean, they did make a raced version uh, from Homestead, which has not been released yet. Uh, of course, we will do a review on that when that does come out. Uh, but obviously, this one came out a lot sooner because it doesn't take a lot to make this one. They already had the 2019 M&M's cars made, so I'm assuming all they did was slap some playoff green on the splitter and the, the spoiler and throw the, the Monster Energy logo on the, the roof, and, and there you have it. Uh, it takes a lot less effort than it does to make the, uh, the raced version with all the rubber buildup and any other kind of damage that that one might have, so obviously this one would uh, come out a lot uh, quicker. So, uh, that'll do it for this week. Uh, I have an idea of what next week's might be, but at the moment, um, have nothing in hand. So 
we may be throwing it back next week to an older die cast. I'm not sure yet, depending on if uh, something that just came in, I think it just came in today, actually. Um, it would be yesterday by the time you see this. Um, it was on the shipping report for today, at least. So it should have shown up, but I don't know if it will actually be in my hands in time for diecast review next week. So um, don't want to promise anything on that. We may have to throw it back to an older diecast. I definitely have uh, a few of those I've gotten in recently that uh, have never gotten a review done. So might have to throw it back to one of those. Who knows? Uh, I got a few ideas of things we could do for that if we need to. So uh, not really sure what next week's will be. I guess we'll all find out next week as that uh, as that happens. But so what do we got uh, this weekend? We have uh, NASCAR Heat highlights coming up Saturday at noon. Streams coming up uh, Tuesday at seven for NASCAR Thunder 2004 and six o'clock on Wednesday for NASCAR Heat Four. And then of course back to this next Thursday and then whatever else we find that we might be able to do throughout the week. We did have an r and news break yesterday breaking down the uh, new tentative schedule that got leaked for not just the Cup Series, but Xfinity, Trucks, and ARCA. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't already. Seems to be uh, met with some pretty good praise there, uh, the schedule at least. So definitely something that, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely something to uh, go check out. I'm excited for that just to have some racing back on the track. Hopefully everything works out well with that. But I think that'll do it. So if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from r &N. While you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It is much appreciated when you do. But at that, this has been the r and Diecast Review. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.